Welcome, Constellation Hunters! This fall, in the south, the area of the sky is known as the sea. It's full of water-related constellations, from Aquarius the water bearer, to Pisces the fish, and Cetus the sea monster. Tonight, we're going to find Aquarius the water bearer by using the fall square of Pegasus to guide our way. So grab your coat, your star map, and your sketching gear, and let's go! The fall square is high overhead in the fall, and it's a square, hence the name. Follow the square to the bright star at the head of Pegasus named Enith. Just below it, we find the fairly faint constellation of Aquarius. It only has a few bright stars. Its brightest two are Sadu Melek and Sadu Su'ud. Imagine these two stars as the stick figure body of the water bearer, with two legs branching down and a kite shaped head. His arms are outstretched and he is pouring water out of a vessel. The star Scott marks the bottom of the vessel as water comes pouring out the east of it. Don't get discouraged if you can't see more than these two or three stars. This is a hard constellation to find. But if you do go out and look for it, with careful observation under a dark sky, binoculars can help too. In addition to the stars, you just might be able to find the Helix Nebula, a planetary nebula that marks the recent death of a sun-like star. Next time, We'll look towards Mars for another constellation in the sea of the sky, Pisces. Until then, happy stargazing!